this is Charles, also known as Dr. Ghetto. Today's video will be learning about my name called Dr. Ghetto. Now, for the last, I don't know how long I should say, I've been meeting many people who I give out my name uh, to regarding about my YouTube or some other source on the internet. And it seems that people are misunderstanding my the, the meaning of the name. The first impression that comes to mind of it, of me giving out the name Doctor of Ghetto is that I'm some black guy in a neighborhood of a ghetto where it's like I don't have a job or I can't find a job. I'm a nigger. I'm this and that and the other thing. And it's kind of weird that people just make that first impression where they don't even think about the three uh, those three of those words of each of its own meaning. And that's a strange about it. Uh, I'm starting to see that. So I just want to give like a good review and a quick uh, overview about about my name before I start making any other videos. Uh, first things first, I would like to point out that I, get, I, I actually got the name about five years ago out of coincidence when making one of my screen names and I was like, huh, this is interesting, maybe I can do this. But uh, in regards to the, the definition of, of the three words into one word, let's break it down to three words then. The first word, doctor. From the verb section here, it says to uh, to treat and alignment, apply remedies to. Basically, that means is to uh, treat a problem, to solve a problem, to make sure that the problem never happen again, prevent it from happening, restore it to the or to the original or working condition. As far as another definition from Dictionary.com, from the of uh, uh, Dictionary.com definition, uh, one of the uh, um, one of the definitions is saying used to indicate derivation, origin, or source. So basically, if you put those uh, put those means together with this meaning, basically you're going from the origin or source of the problem and find ways to, to solve it. Now, ghetto, ghetto, there's three dictionary meanings. I'll read two of them. A sec the first one, a section of a city, especially thickly populated slum area, inhabited predominantly by members of an ethnic or other minority group, often as a result of social or economic restrictions, pressures, or hardships. The second, or I'd say the third definition, a section predominantly inhabited by Jews. So basically, there's like two definitions where it's interchangeable, where my meaning does not only include about minorities and the black community or whatever they call, whatever the government calls us, whatever the it means that uh, basically it's in regard about preventing another actual Jewish ghetto from happening which I'm sure if you're aware of back during World War II and prior, right before the Holocaust Jews were forced into these tight urban like areas where it's like let's say there's five families living in, uh, in one apartment each of five apartments they will be forced to fit into a one family apartment and that's how big and that's how bad it was uh, at the time uh, from my, what I was taught in class as well as research it later on. So in a sense, my my word, or more I should say, my name, Dr. Ghetto, means uh, more than just about the blacks and being in this uh, the so-called mentality people think that I am living in. So this is just something of where I just want to give an overview of. Uh, it seems that people just think that like, oh, I live in uh, the worst part of the neighborhood of the the area of New York City, not necessarily. It has gotten better over the years. More politicians got involved, more policemen, more programs uh, for the, the youth and as well as for the elderly. So it, things are getting better gradually, I would say. I mean, there's still, of course, there's still crime. There is still going to be poverty. There's still going to be war and aggressions. That's all over the place, no matter where you are, no matter what race you are or who you are. So. This is something that we should uh, look into as a lesson that don't try to make a, an assumption of a person's name because it may mean more than just one of that meaning. Always try to look towards uh, another perspective rather than just this one simple, uh, one and only perspective, I should say. Thank you for listening. I hope this is some sort of a nice good lesson to learn from and have a nice day. Thank you.